thanks for stopping by my channel today. I want to welcome you if this is your first time here. And if you are returning, welcome back. We have some DIYs that we are going to do today. We're going to take something simple that's easy and turn it into some very, very high-end decor pieces. It is spring approaching. The spring is approaching. It's not spring yet, but it is approaching. I think all of us are getting ahead of ourselves when you create this content or whenever you create these DIYs, whether you're a YouTuber or not, you just kind of go ahead and start with these things because they're in the stores and you start looking forward to these seasons. But nevertheless, it's not just yet, but it's around the corner. All right. So if you're interested in seeing what I create, I suggest you keep on watching. All right, so for this first DIY, we're going to take this uh, first day of school sign. Um, and what we're going to do is paint it with the Waverly Chalk Paint in Snow White. Okay? And then I have this welcome sign here from the Dollar Tree. Both of the signs come from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to paint that as well. I'm not sure what colors I'm going to paint that yet. Um, but when we get to painting it, I will make sure that I mention it, okay? So what we're going to do is go ahead and get these cords off. And I'm going to paint the first day of the school sign first. And um, I know I'm probably going to have to give it two coats, I do believe. So... Just keep on watching. Okay, so we got some um, lightweight spackling. The Tool Bench Hardware brand from the Dollar Tree. And we're going to fill the holes with this. Okay, so the paint that we're going to use to paint the welcome sign is the Real Yellow by Apple Barrel. And it's in the gloss. I really don't want it to be glossy, but I, that's the first yellow I pulled out my stash. And I'm going to roll with it. And then this is Light Green by uh, Rich Art Acrylogy from Dollar Tree. And we have the Craftwise Chalkboard Paint from Dollar Tree. And we are going to go ahead and get this paint. So keep on watching. And I'll probably use a little bit of the Snow White as well. I'm not sure. But just keep on watching.
Okay, so now that the sign has dried, we are going to cover the back up, okay? I have a piece of packing paper uh, from the Dollar Tree. You can use craft paper, they sell it. Um, I've never found it at my Dollar Trees, but they do sell it in some Dollar Generals or any of your other craft stores. And what I'm gonna do is glue this to the back, okay? And then we will continue to keep putting the sign together. So if you're interested in seeing how all this is done, then keep on watching. We're gonna do some embellishing. The welcome has completely dried and I think it turned out very, very beautiful. And we have some wildflowers from the Dollar Tree. These are all pretty. I took them all apart. And we're just gonna go ahead and finish off this and also almost forgot we have some reindeer moss that we are going to possibly use i do believe we're going to use that so keep on watching
for our next DIY, we have this uh, frame right here. And we have worked with these here on the channel recently. This one says Bunny Trail Farms, opens daily, nine to five, locally grown. Farm fresh eggs and produce, established 1925. And what I like to do is remove the frame and it's very simple and easy. And uh, you wanna take your time, use a paint scraper, something flat that you can kind of force and go under. And what I'm gonna do is get the frame off. You wanna be careful. Doesn't matter if you rip that up because you're not gonna worry about that. And just continue to go around and get everything off. Get the middle piece off as well because that's gonna be a um, separate DIY. So if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, keep on watching. Okay, so now that the sign has been completely taken apart, um, just a little FYI, the um, frame is actually um, stapled down, excuse me. And so you wanna get the staples out first before you try to get the long parts out. These short ones will come right out. But you gotta get the staples out of the back first to get the long pieces. So what I'm gonna do off camera is get these signs painted. I'm using the same colors, um, the yellow and the white to paint both sides, okay? So if you wanna see what it comes out to be, then keep on watching. Also, for the next DIY, this the DIY with the frame, uh, I'm going to use this galvanized sign here, and we're going to get this painted. So everything, I'm going to go ahead and paint everything off camera, and when I come back, you'll see me put everything together and finish each of the last two projects. So, so if you're interested in seeing what I come up with, keep on. Okay, so the sign has completely dried and I gave it two coats of that Waverly Chalk paint in Snow White. And what we're going to do is get this um, shipping paper on the back of this sign like we did the very first one. Okay, so that's all we're going to do and we're going to trim off the edges. I painted the frame. I painted it yellow. We used that and then for the flower pot flower in the flower pot galvanized sign we painted that with the yellow and that green that we used in the first DIY so just keep on watching to see how this DIY turns out Okay, so this is the completed look for this. I think it turned out super duper cute. It was missing something. So what I did was I added a little butterfly up in the corner and that's a sticker from the stickers that I'm gonna be using in the next DIY. 
and I pop some of that greenery that you see down in that little planter there and from the first DIY so yes I felt like it needed something else besides just what the original thing was okay so let me know in the comments what you think about it I think it turned out super duper cute it's so vibrant and yellow does my soul good because it is my favorite color I love yellow y'all so on to the last DIY keep on watching Okay, so this is the middle part of the original sign that we uh, used in the last DIY where we used the frame. This is the middle part, okay? And I gave this two coats. Remember, I painted all these things um, off camera. And we're just gonna trim off the edges of the um, chipping paper off the back and so that we can get this DIY finished, okay? I always, if you are new here, I always save the easiest and the simplest to me uh, DIY for the end. Now, um, you may say, listen, honey, all of them were simple and easy because they all are. But to me, I like to make the absolute simplest one at that very end. So always stick around for that. But it does not mean that it's less than, it's just the simplest to do sometimes the simple ones the easiest of them all to me turns out to be the prettiest mm -hmm. but you have to tell me what you think in the comments okay all right so just go ahead and keep on watching Okay, y'all, so right here, I made an error on how I was going to hang this. And I should have put it the other way because this is going to be, uh, right, it's going to be um, turned the other way instead of the long way. So um, I made an error and I decided to go ahead and keep that in. Yeah, let's go ahead and keep the little blooper in there. Okay, so you can see the mistake, and all you gotta do is just go back and correct it, baby. And um, I didn't want to take all the paper off or put any more paper on because nine times out of ten, this will be my sign. But I like covering up the back because the back co being covered makes these things look very high end. So that's why I like to call my projects high end. Okay. So what we're doing now is using a little bit of Mod Podge, and Mod Podge is a water-based uh, sealer, glue, and a finisher, and it helps your things stick, and um, it finishes it. And if you want to style them somewhere where it, you know it gets hot or you know whatever, you gotta dust them. The things that you put to them or on them, they will adhere better with the uh, Mod Podge. And so I'm just using some of these stickers. I hauled these stickers in the very last haul. I was so glad to find these. This was new that I found in the Dollar Tree. So I made sure I linked that video because I found quite a bit of new items in that video. And we are just going ahead and embellishing up this cute little DIY. And it's going to be simple as one, two, three, baby. So keep on watching.
Well, all right, all right. Now, y'all tell me what you think about these DIYs. I think they turned out super duper phenomenal, of course, because they are yellow, baby, because I am in love with that color. All right, but listen, I know yellow is some of y'all favorite color too. So if it is and you like it, give me a big old thumbs up. That helps my channel out. And if you have not joined this family, go ahead and consider joining the family by hitting that subscribe button and hit the bell as well. So you will be notified every time these videos are loaded up because the content keeps on coming. You don't want to miss out on what is coming next. All right. So I'm going to catch y'all in my next video. And I want to thank you. If you watch this video from the beginning to the very end, God bless you. And I hope to see y'all in the next video. Thanks for watching, y'all. Bye-bye.